Drunk Fish Gaming. Hello and welcome to Drunk Fish Gaming, part of the Escape Pod cast, Castaways Network. Indeed. I'm Fighting Drunk. And I'm Lord Jim the Fish. And today we're going to be talking about the challenge of challenges. They are so challenging. So I thought we'd help you out and try and solve the challenges, yes. And hopefully help ourselves along the way. Indeed. <laughs> so, before we actually get into the different challenges and what to expect from everything, we thought we'd talk about knowing your limits. So, this can be very time consuming. The big thing here is not to waste your time. Unless you've got a day of work or something, or a day of school, whatever you're doing in your life, you might as well only do the manual battles when you think you've got a chance of actually beating it. When you get to the next stage um, up, it can be much more difficult and you may not have some characters, especially healers. So yeah, so we'll come into that in a second. Uh, but yeah, definitely know what to go for. So don't waste your time unless um, you can auto battle something. Um, so also think about your team as well. So um, the runes you have will then yeah. help you th complete those new challenges when you get them. Uh, and when you test, uh, and then when you do do those no, new ones, make sure it's manual. Do not auto battle it, because um, you're just wasting your time then. So you might, you have to manual it. Because see, actually, if you're up to that st uh, that level, um, yeah. And then hopefully, if you can beat it on three stars, you can then just auto battle, um, and then take the same the same principle as all those lower levels that you have or lower battles. Yeah. So when Jim talked about playing on manual, if you think, especially on the defender mission. Um, there is tactics that you can use to get yourself to three star, even if you wouldn't be able to do it on auto. Indeed. We all come to that. Should we do it now? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, if you're looking at the um, the screen um, here, we have right. our test account. Um, so you'll see on here all the different types of things you can do. Okay. Um, and so then it notes down um, in the title which team can fight. So uh, I think we're on tenacity here. So um, this is going to so be your is fighters and tacticians. Is it fighters and tacticians? Oh, I thought I clicked on Defender. Oh, no, wrong one. So, oh. over to the right, yep, that's it, and Defenders. What? Where? I'm struggling. Challenge of Defend the Mind. Challenge of the Mind is Defenders. Defender, all right. No, no, go back, go back. I clicked on that. No, it's far right. Challenge of the Mind, yeah. You says Defenders oh. only. I just read Defenders there. <laughs> <laughs> defenders only. Yeah, reading is important, yeah. I'm learning. Yeah, good. <laughs> Right, so we've got our defenders. Uh, should we just throw in? Yeah, just throw in the uh, the top defenders you have. Yeah. So, like Jim said, this is our test account. We've got everyone uh, maxed, maxed but we don't have any runes on these guys. So, let's see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to auto it against our own advice. Yes. So it's pretty easy to do if you're level eighty <laughs> at this point. Wow, that went quick. <laughs> <laughs> That was intense, that was. Yeah. That's good. But you'll see the first time that you complete a challenge, you'll get um, Dracoins, um, which encourages you to um, progress to the next level. However, they're only five, so it's not really worth it that much. Um, five is better than none. Yeah, true, true. Come on. Accountant here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so this is the next one. Uh, yeah. That was hard as well. Yeah. <laughs> I really thought these would last longer. That's why I didn't do any of them. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that we're going to call out on the defenders is you might notice that Tromgar is actually someone that we, keep, we can use on this. So he is one of the key defenders at the start of the game. Everyone's going to have him leveled up. So the better that you have him, the higher that you'll be able to do with this. Something that you should definitely keep in mind. Yeah, so if you think about um, Tromgar, he has um, what the counter-attack plus... Um, lots more health than he's usually. I think he's usually most people's go-to uh, tank. Yeah. Um, so uh, have him take all the damage, and for the others, just have them dealing um, uh, damage themselves. Um, and just be careful because if you have a lower character, you will then lose one character, and then you won't get any three stars, which is annoying. Yeah. Because then you have to do it again. You might be able to beat it, but if you can't three star, you can't also, and then no. You might easy. save the time, and you might end up not being able to do it a second time. Yeah. If you think about the Solius event that a lot of people have done recently, there is a fair few people that have managed to do it once out of... If you think about the Solius event recently, 
there's a lot of people that have managed to do it once with undergid characters but if they try to do it again they might not actually be able to repeat it because once out of 100 attempts isn't really that much and this can be the same thing okay so what what one are we on now what level are we at uh, I think we've gone through this quite quickly. Yeah, funny that. We're already at yes. oh, oh, there's loads. There's there 15 is. challenges. Yeah, you only unlocked the last one after level 80, <laughs> though, so... Yeah, I hope you're all enjoying the manual <laughs> playthrough that we're going and It's just you know, going through so quickly. Um, okay. So so let's do one more Defenders. If you can... Yeah, I, it's very difficult to describe here at level 80, but you'll, you'll see when you try it yourself. Um, at a lower level. So right. do you want to do you want to go out to uh, the next group and then we'll see. Well, once you the other to... thing to mention about defenders is most factions have one. Mm. If you are looking at your tower mm. teams, you really should have a defender in each one of them. So therefore, five defenders means five teams. Something that you should really consider and make sure that you are selecting the best ones. We won't give advice on which ones are the best ones. Everyone is going to get different characters at different times. So use the ones that you have at the highest stars. If you see here, recommended gear five, level 37. It doesn't actually give a star here. Does it, does it do it at the end? No. no, it doesn't at the end, but obviously the higher star, the better. Mm -hmm. so. so on to the challenge of agility. So these are the healers. All right. So the first thing that you might notice in this is we have got Solius available to us. This is going to be one of the characters that a fair few people have unlocked recently, especially those that have been playing from the start. And sorry for those that haven't. <laughs> yeah. Yet. You'll get him one day. Yeah. He's He'll come back around again. Also definitely a good faction to have. Mm -hmm. So you'll get there. Yep. He is definitely one of the characters that you want to be using in this. Solius is one of the characters that you want to have in your squad, though without Nightheal he isn't quite as good, mm. but hopefully some of the other characters will offset that. Well, considering I think you usually have, I think you've got three characters and then the other two healers you have to unlock, right. um, the likelihood of you having all three, all five healers is very low. Um, well, you've got seven well, overall. Senjur takes a while, and then um, uh, who's, the other, who's the last one? You've got uh, Patriarch Key... Mortha, yeah. Valeria, Senjul, and Xantra. Yeah, Xantra, that's the one. Yeah, so, so um, let's throw in these guys and just... See what they do, yeah? Yeah. I think we might breeze through this. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but again, this is something that you need to consider whether... It, it may be easier to alter this because then they'll constantly heal, which is fine. Um, but actually manually doing this might be recommended. Yeah, I definitely recommend doing it on manual. Um, it's the way that I've actually managed to three star some that on auto I don't even get close to doing. Yeah, because they heal any tiny bit of damage, so you're not dealing out any damage at all. Yeah. Um, so you can do it, and sometimes it works. I think I've done it once, uh, at probably a lower level, because mm. um, then I just got a new character and they just boshed it out. But I only have three healers at the moment, so. This is one of the ones that I find quite hard, to be honest. Though, after unlocking Solius, I will see how I do. Mm. Right. Um, yeah, so you get the general idea about the healers. Um, yeah, we go there's not the... really much to talk about with that. No. Right, should we go for the fun one? Right, we've Let's go got... For the fighters. Uh, where is it? Uh, it's the Tenacity, tenacity. Challenge. Tenacity, here we go. Uh, sorry if I keep looking off to the side, that is where the laptop is with the test account on. Yeah, he's not being rude. Well... <laughs> to be fair, if, uh, if I was being rude, I'd be eating my cheese and crackers right now. <laughs> he is genuinely eating cheese and crackers and has a glass of wine. I'm it's sorry. very civilised. <laughs> it's just what I do. Happy New Year. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Sorry, my squash. Cheers. Guess who's driving? <laughs> so hopefully I'm not driving. <laughs> Alright, so with fighters and tacticians, what you'll find is this is the main bulk of your roster. Just scrolling through, you'll see there's, there's, loads. there's so many characters that we can choose from. Right, so just scrolling through, what you'll see is you've got the main bulk of your roster here, so you've got loads of characters to choose from. Uh, let's just pick some random ones. All right, so I'm going to throw this in. Um, 
one of the things to really think about here is you're not going to have any healers, you're not going to have any tanks. This team is going to die quick if you're undergeared. Yep. What you want to do is make sure that you have them geared up, you have the runes on them so that they can survive a little longer. True, but then deal out loads of damage. You want that DPS. You want to get those high damage That's dealers, true. area effects, um, uh, critical hits, all that sort of stuff. Uh, for the noobs out there, DPS is damage per second. Yes. I apologise for acronyms. They are annoying. Uh, I'm TBH. Not... <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. F you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fudge, right? That's what it means. All right. Sure. Family Maybe. friendly. Indeed. <laughs> oh, hands. <laughs> oh. And uh, Edward, yeah, okay. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's the fighters, that tacticians. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just do another battle. Just uh, have not? a play around with this. It's... We've got a test account. Yeah, you've got a test with it. <laughs> God. So fighting drunk. How many hours have you spent actually uh, upgrading these characters? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, upgrading is not bad. Upgrading was only about six hours. Oh, only six hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> Farming the runes, that's the bit that I'm avoiding right now. Yeah, it's just the odds, very difficult. But thankfully, so thankfully I haven't upgraded any because there is a video coming up with Dragonlord Gaming mm -hmm. where we've been working with him that doesn't actually require any runes. That video will be going live on his channel first mm -hmm. with the follow-up being posted here. So do check out his channel. And see what we've got in store right so right, so let's go back out to the main screen so you'll see there's other challenges as well but for these ones right. um, I think you can use your uh, any squad you like yeah so much. we've got yeah. XP times honing your gold, skill yeah. gold the generic ones so we've got three that you can use any your gold your skills and your abilities and then three that actually give gear which you have required characters. Yep. Don't know why that took me so long to say. Must it's be the, the wine, wine and cheese, yes, <laughs> yeah, very much. You're getting a bit sleepy. <laughs> um, so one thing that I always thought was pretty interesting is, I don't want to do that, if you actually look through the different tiers, mm. what, what happens is you get more of the same gear and more pieces of gear that weren't in the previous tier. But it's usually just one extra bit of gear per level. So that's but, why you auto battle over manual. Yeah. But if you actually look at the raid, it's a bit different. So here we've got one set of gear. I can't get, uh, which piece was it? The specific. One this piece, it? the mace. Hmm. That actually, that's not available. The higher you go, there is different raid pieces. So if you're really after that mace, make sure you're in a tier four guild. That's right. That's not something that happens in We're tier the six challenges. at the moment, isn't it? It's, it's, yeah. yeah. We're not Spice Man anymore. No, we're managed. not. Who are we now? <laughs> Galactic Doomsday. Galactic Doomsday. There That's we are. who we are now. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So whilst sometimes it might be better to stay on previous tiers if that's the gear you and your guild are farming mm. for challenges make sure that you are always going for the highest tier because the better you can do the better the rewards you're not going to miss out on anything by doing the hard ones so i think that's all we have for today i think i believe so yeah so um, hopefully you've like this video found it useful um, if so hit the like button uh, and then subscribe for any more videos that we have coming up uh, and if you've got any comments on challenges or any tips and tricks that you want to share with the rest of the community do drop a comment below we'll see you on the next one bye bye drunk fish gaming